subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet? Come on! It's your boy! Guess who's in the back? Oh, look at the little <laughs> rascal. There's another one somewhere. Harley's somewhere there. There's some. So we are actually on the way down to Aviemore. Cushy's mum and dad have a place there. They have asked us to keep an eye on it and check up on it just with the bad weather. So we're going down and it gives us an excuse to stay over for the night as well. And it's only an hour drive, so it's still in the Highlands, so it's still in our region. FYI. Obviously it's quite cold down in Aviemore. Oh, we delivery man. Great job, Chief. Keep up the good work. What I find quite funny with deliveries is that Amazon can still deliver it next day, but no one else in the UK can. This is for the dogs, obviously, so. Kyla, what do you want? I want a big tasty meal. <laughs> Har Harley, what do you want? in? Oh, a chicken barbecue wrap. Oh, good choice, Harley. Oh, and don't forget chips. I really like chips. Look at this queues here. Hectic. Hectic up at McDonald's. So, yeah, so like I say, we're going down to Avi Moore. We're going to go for a little dip in Loch Morlick. We're gonna order our McDonald's whenever we can get in. Oh my gosh, I've really stuffed this up. Such an idiot, such an idiot. I just want to say McDonald's, you hired a very pleasant uh, woman that was speaking on our menu. It was, it was quite nice, so I'm gonna pay for it now. Hi. Yeah, that's lovely, thank you. We have arrived in the snowy destination of Aviemore. We're just at Kushi's parents' house. We're just gonna go and take on all the bits and pieces. There's Kyla, enjoying the snow. It's hot, it's hot. Harley, come on. Rowan Cottage in Aviemore. FYI, the cottage will be available for rent. What have you just got, Harley? Foy, Harley. Oh, you look nice, Harley. You look so handsome. I can hear Loch Morlick calling me. Come sit in the ice. Ooh. We have arrived at the one and only Loch Morlick. So there's a passageway to heaven. I've got an axe, just in case. We need to do some axing. Wish us luck, we've got Harry. <laughs> I almost fell over. Show them what you fell over. There's a wee stone there. It's funny because it's invisible in the snow. Everything gets carried, covered. How are you feeling, Harry? Ready to go. Are you <laughs> a bit excited? In the <laughs> I'm just excited. <laughs> There's a nice wind. You can't really, well, you can't feel it on the, the, the YouTube. Camera. No. <laughs> oh, we got it. Oh, you hear that? Oh. <laughs> we have reached water. Right, we may be here a while. What's happening guys? So it's myself, the main man Harry. We've been in for a few minutes now in the ice water in Loch Morlick. Must be about, I don't know, minus four at the moment I think. Just so peaceful. The reason why I do this, I'll just do a quick chat, and I've said about a million times, is that we're allowed to do it. No one can take away anything from us. It's one thing that always gives positives to me, and I think that's very important at the moment. There's all we're seeing, is negativity in the press and the media. So it's nice to have a little bit of a positive outlook. I just hope that everyone's okay. Everyone can mentally be okay. It's just a lot of things that we can do in this type of climate. And we're just lucky enough that we've got this on our doorstep. Very fortunate. So this is our little vlog off Avi Moore. Harry's up, obviously Harry's staying with us. Yep. So he's- um, In the bubble. He's in our bubble. He's a, he's a member of our household, so um, that's why Tom's strongest got, bubble. That's what, yeah, exactly. The strongest bubble in the world. We're gonna go for a little full submersion. Harry, you want to go first? I'll go first. Yeah. Oh. 
Glasses off. Safety first. Ready? Yeah, buddy. Easy, Manny. Oh, easy, boy. How's that feeling? Oh, so good. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. When will he return? Oh, my days. There we go, that's your shower done for the day. <laughs> hey! How's it? Cool. Right. Not sure if you can see this, but I'm gonna roll in the snow because I'm wet. That's me all dry. So we were supposed to do some filming when we got back last night, but we ate and we fell asleep pretty much. So we're gonna we do another quick swim and then head home. And then we have some squats to do today. Hope you're okay, Tommy boy. We'll see you soon. So we're gonna go to the loch called Loch Leland because she's gonna take us there. Apparently there's a castle in the middle of it. So we're gonna jump in the cold this morning. As I said, this vlog will probably be a two for one. I think Harley just tried to hit me with a snowball. The little bugger. Look at him. We figured out for you guys the anter flicker. So I would kindly put a comment saying change it from 60 to 50 or vice versa. So I tried that. So fingers crossed it'll be okay. Here's my couscous. Have a bottle of wine in your hand. Let's go and get some cold. Happy Kush. Well, that's big fella. Right, Henry. He said. We're looking for some cold water, mate. <laughs> Don't give me that sh Here, horses, two meters. Nay chance. There's a loch somewhere here, apparently. Apparently there's a castle in the middle of this loch. Well, this is where William Wallace's last stand was in Scotland, so hopefully we got a claymore or something there. Or a bow and arrow. I think William Wallace fought Indians in this part. Yeah, I'll we'll just go for a little walk. Just like Big Tommy did when he went for a wee walk to the pink house. <laughs> and then I'll maybe chuck the GoPro to Tom and Tom can record the rest of his day and make sure he includes some squats. My patella is feeling a little bit sore actually after log press. So we'll see how that goes, but I usually just put a strap on it and it it's fine. It'll be all good. Look at the icicles up there. Imagine one of them landed in your head. One man and his axe go hunting every day. And all they want to do is play in the cold water. Oh, this is the destination. William Wallace's castle. So you can see it's a little bit moist down here. Better take the trusty axe, actually. I'll go and do some tests. See how she goes. I'm not 100% sure, but wish me luck. Oh. He's actually scared. <laughs> We're almost there. <laughs> Me don't like that. <laughs> I don't know. Me no like it. Does it fill you with confidence? No feeling this one. <laughs> <laughs> Glasses off, safety first. Hold on to the ice so you don't fall anywhere. Yeah, buddy. Oh, nice. Oh. That's it, guys. We're back home, back from Aviemore. So I've got my wee, oh, wee uh, babble and goose meal. I'm going to get stuck into that. 
Kush has put the fire on. Probably go for a little nap. I've got to go down to the gym to do some bits. Think about all the cold water and everything that we're doing. I think for me, sitting in cold water makes me feel a lot better. It makes me feel mentally, I don't know, just a lot more focused or just takes away. I don't know how it does it. I really don't. I don't know the science behind it, but for me, it just takes away everything. If I'm grumpy or if I'm peed off about stuff sometimes, I just like going in the cold and you just switch off and... I, was, I remember when I was younger, This is a, I'm going off topic here a bit actually, I was working down in Glasgow and I got the train down and when I was younger I was a bit kind of, just didn't know who I was as a person, as probably a lot of us, you know when we're that age, 19, 20, whatever, you're just trying to fit in with the crowd, get on with life without getting any kind of grief or whatever. Like that. So I got to the train station in Glasgow, got off the train and I was sitting waiting for another lad that was working with. This guy, he was obviously intoxicated a little bit. He got to me, he said, all right, mate. He said something to me like, don't pretend to be something you're not. And that's that's stuck with me since for a long time, actually. And if you pretend to be something you're not, that can be anything. If you pretend that you're believing something you don't believe in, or if you're happy and you're not, or I don't know, whatever, whatever it is, it can actually really grind you down, can break you down if you're pretending to be something you're not. Maybe it's something to think about, maybe it's not, maybe I'm talking rubbish. It's just not to think about what other people think of me as a person, I guess, and just do what makes me happy and try and make family happy, I suppose, as well. But when we're putting out photos here on Instagram or social media, don't do it just because you saw us do it or some celebrity or some person, whatever. Do it because it actually makes you happy. Because your happiness is the single most important thing the single most important thing in life is to be happy you know we're here for a reason we're here to enjoy life as much as we can try and be happy i guess and try and make other people happy when they're around you be happy and just be nice to people shower done just getting ready for the gym spicy shirt on means it's gonna be a big spicy session just had my creatine pre-workout and then the awesome Nordic Botanics sent us this up. So we've got CBD, jerky, muscle rub, which I'm just about to put on, some bath cream, some Nordic CBD spray, immune boosters, and then the lovely sleep masters. Check it out, give it a shot, and let me know what you think. Right, we're going to the gym. I'm going to hand over the Magic GoPro stick to Noodlehead himself. Oh. Hey guys, you missed me having this. Hey, I'm here. Luke's resting, but we're training. Leg day today, the most brutal session of the week. How's things today? Good, yeah. What are we up to? What am I up to? What are we up to today? Uh, my car passed its MOT. Yeah, <laughs> here we are. So instead of spending 700 quid, I'm only spent 50. Is that all it was? Yeah. What did uh, you eat today? Anything nice? Uh, Four donuts. Four donuts. Oh, Oof. Big Tommy. It's not your job you did, Tom. <laughs> so what are you doing? What are we doing today? Three sets of five. Box squats. Box squats. So around two hundred. What temperature does water freeze at? Zero. Here we. <laughs> I don't know. Minus one. How's that feeling? Good. Are you happy that you're doing Brian Shaw's competition this year? Yeah, very. That'll be good fun. Colour that co co Colorado, baby. There you go. Yeah, if my breathing's bad now, don't worry, guys. I know you're concerned about Colorado, but I'll be there and I'll be like a Terminator. I breathe like this and then when I do a competition, it feels like I've, like at Wall Straws Manor, I felt fit, but right now I feel unfit. I feel like I smoke 50 a day. <laughs> <laughs> that chocolate's actually really good for you. Oh, tell us why. Because it's got no milk in it. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, no, it just gives you veins. Gives you veins? Yeah. Do, do you know where chocolate comes from, Tom? Uh, J Jamaica. Good, Tom. <sighs> I took the picture off for Harry now. Come on, now. Oh, hi. Look at that. Double check on the side. 
What weight are we on for Harry? 160. We are on set for 240 kilograms. First up, this way. Did you feel spicy? Splendid. How, uh, how many jobbies have you done today? Four. <laughs> <laughs> Look guys, no flashing. Look, the medical man changed the settings. Now we don't even flash. You open this up Tom, we've got a wee package. Where is this from? Gordon Ingram. Thanks Gordon, hope it's nothing bad. Don't cut yourself. Or me. Oh, Tommy's going to go. Oh, fancy. Put the blade away Tom. Put the blade away, there you go. Oh, is it saying? Read the note. Please find inside a set of nickel walking stone rings and a so Gordon Thunder. Christine. Rolling Thunder. Rolling Thunder. Oh, nice. No, Gordon. Gordon. Gordon Thunder. Christine plus I wish you all the best luck in the world and joy. Oh, wow. So these are the, for the nickel stones, world record attempts, obviously. This guy's got the world record. Lovely note. Thank you very much guys, much appreciated. There's one handle. So the, the handles for the, the nickel stones are the different sizes, which we'll see. You can see the, the difference in sizes. So they were, I don't know if you remember last year, they were the nickel stones were in Europe's strongest mass. Rolling thunder. That's a big chunky thing. That'd be a good grip thing for you, Tommy. See how much, you, cause your hand wrapped around it. Let's see. Almost. Oh. Big Tommy the oh, Grip. Smart Felix. So that's very nice of you guys. Thank, Thank you guys. Thank you very much. Check out Gordon Ingram if you want to buy some replica nickel stones. Uh, nickel stones handles. Sorry. So thank you very much. What did you say, Tom? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good. Are you going to go home and do some vlogging? Yeah, I'm actually really tired, so won't get much out of me tonight. Back from the gym, I think it's nearly like 10 pm. I am tired tonight. Sinead and me are just getting cozy and we are watching this program. You have got me tomorrow as well, so I will show you my last meal of the night in a wee while and then I am going to go to bed. So my last meal of the night is protein shake and a pan of strawberries. I'm going to eat this then I'm going to go to bed and uh, I'll give you a nighttime routine that I do. But uh, the last fact of the night is dogs sneeze when they're playing to show that they're not going to hurt you. That is a fat and a half fat. So how you put a face mask on? Because <laughs> it's good. Plastic still on. Oh, the suspicion of a height. Aye, right. Flop. <laughs> Tommy's back. <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm staying here. I feel good. You feel good? You feel pampered? My skin feels nice. You're relaxed. Yep. <laughs> like, come closer. It looks so funny because it doesn't fit on your face. <laughs> <laughs> These are cracking me up too. I hate having big feet. Do you ever enjoy the little things in life? Breakfast today is only going to be a protein shake and some oat bars, just uh, I've got to go do a wee photo shoot for a local company in Everton. They sell uh, whiskey chocolates and stuff, so, you know, I love doing stuff for the local community. It's going to be quite cool. So, I will see you at breakfast. Simple breakfast. It is literally just protein shake and two oat bars. So, I'm going to have this. I'll see you guys over at the gym. You'll get a few snaps of the shoot I'm doing. 
so I'm gonna go home with a wee one and uh, get my second meal. Then I'm gonna do some dump runs and then I'm gonna go up to Luke's and clear out his garage with him. So it's a busy day. Busy, busy day. Stay tuned. Uh, yeah. So I got roped into doing this. We have to clear out Luke's garage. I'm not sure if everyone's junk. Hi Luke. Not just yours and Luke's junk. So what's that over there? Uh, that behind the mattress. So it's all good. We are just gonna get grafting. We are hard at work. We are probably fifty percent done. What are we turning this into? You'll oh. soon find out. Yeah. Home gym, where we first started the old YouTube videos. My employees have done really good. Well done, Luke. Dan Harry, here's some food. Uh -huh. Oh, what about? Right, Kushi. Oh, came in for the last one. Uh, <laughs> Glory hunter. So here we go. We got the lucky duck. Whole workout done. That's what we got before World Strongest Man. That's the gym stuff moved, the garage cleaned, and now it is getting late at night. So I am going to go home, chill out, and I'll see you all later. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe, please comment, please like, and guys, stay safe, smile, and stay spicy. Yeah.